Imagine you want to chart non-metric data such as events or logs over time. You can do that using the make time series command in DQL. Look at this example query. You are fetching logs that will give you a list of records with some data. You can then convert into the time series data using the make time series command. The only mandatory parameter is the aggregator function. In this example, I'm using count, but you can use sum, average, and many more. The aggregator function is then used to calculate the time series points. So how does Grail calculate the interval for the series? By default, the command will divide the time frame into 120 paths called buckets. Based on it, it will generate an interval for each time series point. But you can configure the numbers of bucket using the bins parameter. It's also worth knowing that the default time frame for a query is 2 hours. Therefore, with 120 buckets, you get 1 minute time interval as default. You can also define a custom interval using the interval parameter. However, when it's not possible to have an exact match for the desired interval, the time interval will be rounded to a well-known interval of 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or 1 hour. For example, the following command has 3 hours time frame. With 120 bins as default, you might expect a 1.5 minute interval. However, Grail will round it down to 1 minute interval. You should also know that the bins and interval parameters are mutually exclusive. You can either use bins or interval. Additionally, you can split the series using the by parameter. In the following example, you will get time series based on each unique status field value. It's also worth knowing that most of the parameters for make time series are the same as time series command. Therefore, if you know the time series command, you can apply the same concepts to the make time series command.